I first thought something was wrong because she kept getting these deep, dark bruises on her legs that wouldn't fade. So they weren't like going away. In the back of my mind, I knew it was something. I started researching, looking into what it could possibly be. I said to Joshua and I was like, what if this is cancer? And he's like, it's not cancer. You got to get your mind out of that. It's not, it's not that bad. I kept looking into it and there were other signs that were in these posts that started just popping up with her. She would get the broken blood vessels and they wouldn't really go away. And I could see sores in her mouth. So that was when I called her pediatrician. Since I knew something was wrong, I wrote down every symptom she had. And then we went to the pediatrician's appointment. So I handed Josh the paper and I said, I can't go in. So he went in and handed it to our pediatrician. And then she opened it and she sent her immediately to get blood drawn. And we were on our way home. We had just gotten home and she called and she said, I need you to get to the hospital right now. It's cancer. The next day she was undergoing chemo and she had had a pick line placed. And then we were in the hospital for 28 days. You always have your worst fears of what you think could happen to your kid and that's never one of them. You get something like this and it's, it just shuts you down. It's your worst nightmare. It's not something that you ever could think could happen to you. And then it does, and it doesn't, nothing feels real for a while. It takes a long time for it to sink in. But there were, there was so much support from the whole community. It was amazing. Having the ability to go to the Ronald McDonald House has been a lifesaver. You never know what's gonna come in life and this organization is amazing. Really, it has become a home away from home. Avery loves it, loves it there. And all the volunteers are so amazing. It's fun to go past the front desk and every day they're wondering what Avery's wearing because she's always in a fancy dress. They're like family. They treat Avery like, like she's one of theirs. She gets excited to run and see them every day. They take care of us. We appreciate it more than they'll ever know. I would tell all the staff, thank you, and I wish I could hug every single one of them. They are, oh, they are amazing. They're, they're so valuable, and I, I, I love them all. Avery was diagnosed when she was two, and then she relapsed in February. So this is her second fight. Avery is now in a really good place in treatment. We are so close to them letting us just go home and just be at home. We really appreciate everyone that's supported and donated, all the volunteers. I don't know where we'd be if it wasn't for this. Donors should know that they are helping people through what might be like the worst time in their life. You, you will always have uh, the intrusive thoughts of what if this is happening, what if this is happening. You're always thinking the worst. What if it's this, what if it's this. You always have to hope for the best, but plan for the worst. Some days are easy. Other days it's just, it's harder to get things done or get out of bed. Um, but you'll get through it. You just have to keep going.